review still from Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. L.R. Kate Hudson as Bertie, Leslie Odom Jr. as Lionel, Catherine Hahn as Claire, Edward Norton as Miles, Jessica Henwick as Peg, Madeline Klein as Whiskey and Dave Bautista as Duke. Courtesy Netflix writer-director Ryan Johnson's 2019 sleeper smash Knives Out was such an out-of-nowhere delight, you can be forgiven for approaching the sequel with a certain trepidation. One of the increasingly rare non-franchise box office bonanzas, the film playfully rejiggered elements of Agatha Christie's locked room mysteries with old-fashioned craftsmanship and a tart, contemporary edge. Opening to modest business before hanging around throughout the holidays and well into spring, Knives Out was the rare case of a movie becoming popular not because of a pre-sold marketing campaign, but because people actually liked it and told their friends. The cross-generational cast had such a wide demographic appeal that it became a running joke at my other job that winter, trying to find anybody who had not gone to see Knives Out with their family. The film had a spry lightness of step that's difficult to replicate in this format. For proof, try sitting through Kenneth Branagh's lumbering recent Christie adaptations, which come off like tacky dinosaurs in comparison. Glass Onion, rather inelegantly subtitled A Knives Out Mystery, is funnier and more manic than the first film, sending Daniel Craig's fey detective Benoit. Johnson famously signed a $400 million dollar deal with Netflix for two Knives Out sequels and part of the joke of this film is how ridiculously profligate it is, at first overloading the audience with its ornate production design and a silly surplus of celebrity cameos. There's an irony in a filmmaker seeking to satirize the immodesty of tech bubble billionaires by setting as much of Netflix's money on fire as humanly possible, but more on that in a moment. Daniel Craig reprises his role as Detective Benoit Bloch in Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Courtesy Netflix the picture takes place during lockdown, when a depressed Benoit Bloch is surprised to find himself summoned to the private island of Edward Norton's Miles Veron, a malevolently musk -wide. 